What triggers someone to eat unconsciously? This is a very personal thing. I mean, there's people you know, I'm sure, that use food as emotional regulation. You know, so when they're stressed, they eat and it calms them down. You know, or they'll eat when they're happy and when they're with people. You know, when there's an association of getting together with others and connection. Um, you know, especially with family, uh, dinners and get-togethers always have that sense of community and connection. If your grandmother or your mother you've got her sense of love from cooking those meals and then you consuming them and saying oh that was so wonderful and you know and then you eat eat it lots and they're very happy so you get love and approval from the people in your life from enjoying their food so it can be for good reasons for bad reasons people are triggered for all sorts of emotional reasons as i've talked about a, a lot is the idea that you know eating is emotional and um, and emotions are mostly unconscious you know or totally unconscious. Hunger itself is not something that you choose, you know, and unconscious is anything you didn't consciously decide. So uh, I guess even hunger is an unconscious trigger. It's 100% unconscious, I guess, isn't it? Actually, this reminds me of an idea I, I typically talk about is, you know, when you think about it, food has always been a scarce resource. It's food, you know, prior to modernity and globalization and, you know, really the last you know, 50 years or so, uh, you know, there's, food has been something that we struggled to have and get. It, we, it was something that was always chasing all day. I mean, th think about right now, what's not in a fridge or in a packet or a can in your house? Most people come back with the answer just like fruit or something, you know, like imagine before fridges were, were invented and before, you know, factory packaging was invented. I mean, think about Woolworths, what's in there? Really, that means just to, to live and exist, everyone had to live on a farm, uh, creating food that animals made or, or plants made. Like, and then we had to be vet ready to get it. As soon as you start picking it off the tree, it starts rotting. You know, it's, it's, as soon as you kill the animal, it, you know, it starts decaying. It's like we, you, food it was fresh and it was ready to go and it, was, and it was in scarce supply. It wasn't always around. And we were just all day thinking about food, you know, preparing food cooking it, organizing it, like killing it, picking it, whatever the case may be, we had to be thinking about food, preparing food. So, so that's the first thing, you know, it's so the fact that we all think about food all day is absolutely totally normal, has always happened. We'd spend all day just trying to create the food, prepare the food, whatever, like, so there's that. And then the fact is, based on the quantity that was around, there wasn't a lot. So you pretty much eat as much as you possibly want, eat as much as your heart desires, and it's still not enough. But today, in today's environment, you eat as much as you want and you know, that's way too much and you have to manage it yourself. So before, you just eat as much as you want and you know, like that's the natural uh, you know, mitigating mechanism, like there's just, just scarcity, the fact that there isn't enough around. But now, we have to choose to do that. We have to make a conscious choice to reduce the amount that we eat. Before, there, that choice, there was no conscious intervention needed it's all unconscious. It was all, it was all just the drive to get food and to consume it and consume as much as you can while it's there. Otherwise it'll rot or go away and it's still not enough. And then we chase it and chase it and chase it and chase it. Right. But now in this world, in this crazy world of just total wild abundance, uh, we must choose. We must be conscious of how much we've had and choose not to have food, choose to say no to food. That's a completely unnatural, unnormal thing so we're living in a wild wild world uh, where we have to say no to food and make conscious interventions and turn away food which is crazy to the unconscious mind so that's what we're trying to do here this is crazy stuff but that's why it's so difficult because it just goes against every grain of our being to do that so I'm here every week with new insights on how to improve your health, your life, your weight, information and insight you will not get anywhere. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next week.